Okay, now in the solder container I carry matches, but honestly I hardly ever use them matches. I'd rather you know I'd rather use any other you know means to make fire. But if I don't have my fire steel, if I don't have you know a lighter, if I don't have anything, so I will use my matches. Oh by the way, you will not see my fire steel in the survival kit because I don't carry my fire steel in my survival kit. My fire steel is in my pocket all the time. It is with me okay so I got some other means to make fire in this survival kit here but my fire rod my fire steel it's in, in one of my pockets at all times I always will have it with me okay in this little um, pouch here nylon pouch I carry some uh, snare wire okay I got these pair of tweezers which is you know obviously good to help you remove splinters or something that gets in your eyes or you actually need some more accurate type of uh, you know hold you can use the, the the tweezers to you know to work with and like I said I have some more snare wire here okay and again I have a lot of those razor blades wrapped in plastic okay another blade I got here oh there's another nail about this what tw two inches yeah about two inches that I, I carry here but I, I found a better use for it and it's it's uh, in a tree back there holding some of my equipment so it's you know I've been using it in this other film container here I got some uh, cotton balls and Vaseline right and around it wrapped in duct tape I have some pieces of a uh, rubber band okay tire band because that helps me with fire I, I, I can burn some of these bands and they will keep the fire burning longer in case the wood is too damp I want the fire to burn longer well in the solder container here I have more cotton balls saturated saturated with a Vaseline okay so you guys might say wow this guy is really concerned about making fire yes I am in the rainforest in the Mata Atlantica you gotta be if you want to have fire you have to make sure you you will get it and none of this these stuff here I use to make fire is too much okay this is what I want this is what I need to get my fire started here especially when it's raining when it's raining here it's a misery you will have a real hard time time trying to make your fire you really want to make sure you got everything you need to get your fire going well speaking of the devil here we are I got these four ten pounds here which I use for artificial tender and you got a big volume uh, I'm sorry you got a big uh, amount of material in a small volume okay and they are wrapped in plastic which prevents water from soaking in so I use them for uh, artificial tender they work really well you catch uh, they can catch fire with just a spark from your fire steel or uh, that um, striker I showed you before here I have these other two uh, American uh, fire starters okay they are some they are like a uh, like a big match okay they got this uh, a tip and then you can strike the tip and the rest of them the material is some type of paper impregnated with uh, you know some type of resin and it will burn for like seven minutes at, at least you know which is a good in the time to help you with uh, to help you start your fire and I have some more rubber bands you know um, uh, wrapped around them plus two broken pieces of candle it is all to help me start my fires right and just to finish ho ho more rubber bands okay to help start my fire so in summary I carry most of the items of my survival kit in this can right which I like I said before I can use to uh, boil water and also cook and and this is where I keep my 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 kit my survival kit and uh, that's it you know I might you know add some new stuff to my kit I might take off some some you know one or two pieces but this is what I actually been carrying with me right now uh, I also hang a whistle to my neck okay so if I feel like if I ever got to be rescued or something I can blow that whistle too that that's good for signaling and to be honest with you, I have started carrying my first aid kit inside my survival kit 
just recently because so far I've been I had been carrying my first aid kit in my backpack and or some other place but I figured it wouldn't be a good idea in case I lost my backpack I know that my survival kit is usually with me so I wanted my first aid kit to be inside my survival kit and that's what I've been carrying uh, currently I hope you, you know have enjoyed it if you want to add any comments ask any questions I would be more than glad to talk to you guys and this was Giuliano Toniolo from Brazil here. See you next time.